what I have here is just office folders. They are some colored ones, just because, you know, colored folders are prettier and you can store things color-coded. And um, what I have here is how I store my pink persimmon stamps. And I'm going to show you step-by-step step how we can go about making some very cute storage holders that you can put right in your three-ring binders. What I have here is a regular 9 by 12 inch file folder and what I have done is cut a half inch off of each side so it is um, eight and a half inches wide in case I want to put it in my three ring binders later. That's how I tend to store all of my unmounted stamps. I'm going to punch some holes so that I will be able to put them in my binder later. And this is going to be the base of our storage. Now I've kind of organized my stamps by theme and here I have some um, birthday stamps and what I'm going to do is just tape the index sheets down into this folder and um, then all we need to do is laminate it. So we're just going to take apart our stamp sets, trim them down so they fit, trim the index sheets down so they fit inside our folders and then we're going to tape them in place. Okay, I have taped my index sheets on the inside of my folder. I'm just going to round the edges so it looks a little bit neater and that will also keep the edges safe from wear and tear and it will help when I laminate them a little bit. And to laminate them, what I'm using is clear contact paper. This is actually clear by GripTac and um, it's very, very shiny and very clear. You want to make sure you get the glossy clear contact paper instead of the uh, muted kind of... Um, kind of etched looking stuff. You want the really crystal clear stuff because your stamps will stick better to that. Now this is a tricky process because you need to peel off the backing and you need to put this right on the contact paper without it uh, wrinkling up. You can do both sides at once because the uh, width of this contact paper is the width of the open folder so you can actually do it all in one shot if you want to but since I've only got um, stamps on the inside of this I'm only going to do the inside and I will laminate the outside after I get some more sets to put on the outside. I'm just going to set the edge right underneath the stapler hole punch whatever you want to call it and that's going to hold it flat for me so I can get the top of it started and I cut it a little bit big I think so it should I should have plenty on there. As I go, I'm going to smooth out any air bubbles and just pull the rest of the paper off. Okay. Now we'll need to trim away the excess, but as you can see, I have a nice place where I can store my stamps. So I'm going to just fold over the excess for right now. For the sake of the video here, you can trim it off later. All right, and I will be using my crop it out to punch through those... Um, holes in there too. Uh, I punched the paper first because I knew my hole punch wouldn't go through that plastic very well. So then when you're ready to store your stamps, you simply pull the uh, backer off the carrier sheet and stick it right down there. See how well that works? Now you'll be able to find your stamps whenever you're ready to use them. You can put them in a three ring binder so they're always ready when you are to stamp. And uh, for me, I like to be able to flip through my stamps and find what I want instead of uh, flipping and opening up packages. This always just works a little bit better for me. So there, all my stamps are nice and neat and stored. And I've got, you know, my Christmas ones together. And I've got my nature ones together. Oops, I had a little <laughs> double-sided tape on the back of that for some reason. You can see how nice and neat they all stay organized. See some of my older stamps here, my alphabets. And they all will go in a three ring binder. Isn't that nice? Well, yesterday I went out and I got a couple binders so I could actually show you the finished product here and customize my um, pink persimmon stamp storage. So what I'm going to do is um, stamp this little rosette from the Big Banners and Rosette set on a scrap of cardstock. I'm going to stamp it three times because I want three little circles for the front of my binder. And then I'm going to use my um, P from the Large Carnival set. I'm going to put a P in the middle of two of them. The banging is for from construction that's going on on my house, so please excuse that. And this number one here. And then I'm going to use my inch and a quarter punch to punch out these shapes. It looks really cool. There's one. 
two and three. And then I'm going to stick it on this paper that I'm going to use to decorate the spine of my album. I'm just going to ink the edges of the little circles to make them stand out a little bit. I know it, this is unnecessary, but it will help me label um, and figure out what's in my binder at a glance, because I have a lot of binders full of stamps. And then as I grow my collection of pink persimmon stamps, I'll be able to have a, a uh, binder that says PP2 and PP3, so I'll know like when I purchased my stamps or when I got them. And um, I can organize really well that way. That's how my brain works. Your brain might work differently. You might want one that's just for alphabets, one that's for images, one that's for holidays. But, um, you know, whatever makes sense to you for organization. And now I'm going to show you how we put these in the binder. Okay, I have my binder right over here. And I keep my spine piece a little bit longer because um, sometimes I need that little extra on the end to help feed it through. Sometimes it helps if you open your binder up. Hope this is in frame. And then I'm going to cut the edge off with my scissors. right in there. Okay, that's the edge of my binder. I'm going to use another sheet of that paper that I cut earlier and slide it right in the front just to make it pretty. You can do this in the back too where you don't have to do anything to it because really it's just, you know, to organize your stamps. But it's nice when it looks pretty too. So here's a look at my binder. It's all done. I've got it labeled on the side so when I put it on my shelf I'll be able to tell what it is. And when you open it up you can see how easy it is to access your stamps. You can flip through it just like a catalog. These are very sturdy. That's what I really like about them. Let's just put the cover on. I'm so long because I just took that stamp out. You can see how easy it is to store them this way.